more of this stuff. I do love this stuff. Hey everybody and welcome back. I know it has been a hot minute again since I posted. I've actually made a bunch of videos but just hadn't released them, didn't really like the quality or whatever I was doing. This is the first video I'm publishing from my new place here in Virginia uh, in Fairfax. I live in a pretty busy area and we are having one of the first nice days of the year. It's like 70 degrees outside today. Uh, it'll be 70 for a couple days but next week goes back to cold so chill out with the shorts everybody. It's not summer yet. It's just fake summer going back into third winter. I think we all know that by now. First of all, I just wanted to welcome everybody back and I also wanted to do a follow up to the last video I did a few months ago called Speak. Uh, it was my first video about mental health with my place in the world of mental health and how it affects me in my daily life. Um, I talked about actually going through a service to get therapy. Uh, I have switched services since then um, to an in-person doctor and, and honestly the first service was amazing. Betterhelp.com is amazing. They're a great service. Uh, I have gone to an in-person uh, in-person service now which is even more helpful to me uh, and it's uh, you know just a lot more relatable to the things I'm actually going through with it. It has been a tremendous help and I feel my improvements every single day. Um, it does help increase my everyday value of life and it, it makes a difference in the world around me. Since starting making my move up here to Alexandria, Virginia, I've been doing a lot um, of photo work and video work, but nothing in my normal field. All of my sports work and concert work and travel work has kind of come to a, a halt. Uh, my travels have been my move to here, but um, you know, there's just has been a lot of of sports to shoot. The Washington DC, Maryland, and Virginia area are, are still pretty locked down as of this date. It doesn't mean I'm not sending out 150 emails every couple days trying to get in and shoot some games. However, I have been getting to know the area around here. Uh, there's two big airports near me, so my love of aviation and aviation photography has been, you know, able to been dug into a little bit. Hi, English. I don't remember how to speak you. You know, there's a lot of cool areas around here, even including right outside of where I live, and there's just a ton of history up here. If you're a history nerd like me, this is definitely an area to come to, and obviously including Arlington National Cemetery that I had the opportunity to visit and do some photos uh, uh, one day, and it was amazing. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is something that I've been looking forward to my whole life, and unfortunately it was closed for construction, but I was able to get some pictures from a distance. I really wish I had brought my 400 millimeter that day, but thankfully the new uh, R5 and R6 have that 1.6 crop, camera lingo for those of us that are uh, photographers here. Um, so with my 70 to 200, I was able to get in a little bit closer with it, which is pretty awesome. But for the people that are dealing with mental health struggles, um, it's, you know the old saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. We say it, possibly overuse it, but it's so true. Uh, people that are dealing with it, you just gotta take each, each battle one day at a time. Um, everybody out there is entitled to a voice and it's your job to get out there and let the world hear it. We want to hear it. I want to hear it. Uh, continue to reach out to me. We are almost one year exactly to the time of when we got first shut down. Um, when it first started, we kept saying it won't be that long, it won't be that long, and here we are a year, and we're still dealing with places that are shut down and restrictions and wearing masks everywhere we go. I remember being so insecure about wearing a mask in public and I thought I looked like a lunatic and you know you walk into a bank a year and a half ago with a mask on you're getting shot by police and now you walk into a bank with a without a mask and you're being told to leave the irony is insane but it's the world we live in now and people really do need to still be careful you know um, places you go frequently that have been open like gyms and things like that wear your mask like protect the people around you if you don't like it uh, if you're not worried about yourself getting sick, just do it for the people around you. And please do not message me your hate comments about whatever idiotic and egocentric beliefs that you have because I promise you they won't change my views on them. Um, but I'll continue to wear my mask, just don't cough in my face. Fair? Fair. I am gonna be doing more videos, so please follow me on my social media as well, my Facebook page, my Twitter page, which I'm sorry I never use, and my Instagram page, as I'm always trying to grow those. Subscribe here, hit the bell so you get notifications on it. What do the big YouTubers say? Like, smash the subscribe button and hit the bell. Like, it's so aggressive. 
I'm not the Hulk, you're not the Hulk. I don't need you to smash anything, just click with the mouse. Be normal. But keep up to date, I'm definitely gonna be doing more videos. I have already uh, recorded a video of a what's in my bag, and it was funny because what's in my bag for sports, concerts, and travel, and honestly, it turns out to be a lot of the same gear. Um, so I think the videos are gonna be more geared towards what I'm using those for and how I'm utilizing the equipment along with what's in my bag. Um, gear reviews and things like that, I'm gonna start getting into more. Uh, and then I'm also gonna be talking to a lot of people around the area here. Uh, there are some interesting people out here. Um, people who have battled through cancer and you would never know it because they are just living life on top of the world. Um, someone I met recently is just awesome with that. Fitness people, musicians, uh, athletes, people all over the place in a lot of different industries. There's so much I wanna learn from other people. So what better way than to do a video with them to maybe help you guys learn a little bit about these other industries too. Um, if you have an idea, contact me, uh, hit me up. I'm always looking for ideas and I'm always ready to get out there and shoot something. So um, anyway, thank you for reaching out to me. Thank you for thanking me, but thank you for reaching out and going to get the help that you need. I couldn't be more proud of each and every one of you as a people. Um, I'm always here to be support and add a voice. Um, I'm always here to just be a, a set of ears and eyes to read and listen to anything you want to say. I thank you guys again for the time. I do look forward to making more of these videos and getting them out more regularly. Maybe one day this YouTube channel can be great and not just the one viewer. Thank you, viewer. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you soon. This is so awkward. <laughs>